Hi. Two weeks ago I made a video and I sent that video for review by the compliance department of a well-known and highly respected manufacturer and distributor of what I believe to be life-changing nutritional products. The video in its original form was judged not acceptable for showing on YouTube. So what have I done? I edited out what I understand to be the problems or the concerns with that original video. And in the version that you are about to watch, no mention will be made of the nutritional product to which I'm referring. Furthermore, the website shown at the end of the video, it's not a real website. There will be no links made at all in the description of this video and the search terms will not include the name of this product. I've submitted a copy of this new video to the compliance department and if they still have an issue with it, I'll remove it from YouTube immediately. So, grab some popcorn, kick back, and enjoy the edited version of the talk. Hello again. Today I will set the record straight as to whether or not there's hard evidence that consuming can lead to enhanced libido and sexual function. Try this simple experiment. Do a Google search by typing in and sex, S-E-X. Once you're done exploring the quarter of a million websites you'll have pulled up, I urge you to do some independent thinking. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. I can assure you, you'll never hear me making any claims about enhancing libido and sexual function, and you'll never read any claims on any of my websites about enhancing libido and sexual function, and you'll never, I repeat, never get me to stop taking my...